Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video, um, we're just going to go through the patch notes for the uh, upcoming patch uh, on Monday, September 30th. So as of the date uh, I'm recording this and should be released, um, we it should be in about four days or so. So this is Monday 30th of September. Um, you can f It's not in the game at the moment, but you can find the information uh, through the Discord. So let me just budge my uh, face over here. Um, and as you can see, we can go through all of the different uh, bits of the Discord. If you're not already on here, I would suggest signing up. The link is down below in the description. Just click that link and it will bring you to this page. You can sign up to the Discord and you can get this information early as well. So, just having a look here, uh, let's jump into the actual, um, the actual uh, patch notes itself. Uh, this is patch 2.19.0, so uh, let's go through it in full. Uh, Dear Omni Guardians, performing scheduled maintenance update on Monday, September 30th from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's three hours uh, of game downtime, so just be aware of that. If you're trying to log in between that time, you won't be able to. Uh, in this update, we're excited to introduce the new guild challenge event where you can compete uh, complete various missions set by your guild to earn rewards. Based on feedback, we've also added uh, Vengeance Valkyrie Arcdina to the Valkyrie Manor, allowing you to interact with Arcdina after completing main missions uh, 28.60. Um, so, very good news, uh, and it uh, looks like a lot of new content coming in this patch as well. Spoiler alert, I have already gone through it, uh, and it looks very good. Uh, to me, it does anyway. So, um, we've got Monday 3rd September, that's when it's scheduled for. The rewards would be 500 diamonds, plus uh, we get uh, 5 summon tickets for the advanced summons as well. So uh, just make sure you collect those in time. Now, onto the actual update itself. So this is the Guild Challenge. The new Guild Challenge event will kick off soon, where you can complete various missions released by your guild to earn points and attractive rewards. So the event dates will be uh, 4th of October to the 10th of October. So it's a total of six days, um, potentially seven, but I think around six days. Um, eligibility, so the guild level needs to be above eight, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, and your player level needs to be above 50. Uh, player uh, has been on the server for at least 15 days. So um, yeah, uh, not, not too heavy requirements, especially been playing for a long time. So various missions uh, will be published during the event uh, for guild members to undertake. Your guild will earn points upon completing these missions within the designated time frame. Rewards such as DD selection, tickets, will be given based on your guild's total points. Uh, at the end of the event, rankings will be determined based on the total points earned by all guild members. So it is effectively guild v guild, but the uh, challenges and missions will be assigned by guild leaders. So if you are part of my guild, watch out for that. Um, now, uh, you find the missions released by uh, your guild unsatisfactory. Guild leaders and captains have the option to swap them out. So get in contact, start communicating with your guild leaders if you're not already, um, and just make sure that you um, do let them know if there is a specific mission you can't complete. Uh, they've not released anything about the actual missions itself. Um, they've not released any of the, the qualifiers for it. So uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, I think it's going to be exciting. I think it's going to be interesting. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think down below. Now, Synergy Summons. Uh, we revamped the Synergy Summon feature, allowing you to freely select the hero with increased summon rates. That is fantastic. Really is, especially if you're chasing particular heroes. So uh, number one, choose your featured hero. When summoning, you can select a Synergy and one corresponding legendary hero from the Empire Woodland Eclipse factions as your featured hero. So uh, let me just jump into game for this. And we'll just have a look. So we jump into city. Um, a lot of you might not have, we'll wait for it to load. Uh, a lot of you might not have summoned uh, on here before. Um, but let me just show you. So this is the synergy summon as it stands. So if, say, for example, I were to summon here, um, I'll just budge myself over. I've got 19 scrolls, so I could summon 19 times uh, on this. Um, and then what we can do um, is we would be sort of uh, guaranteed, not guaranteed, but there would be a higher chance to get Lancelot in this. But if, say, for example, you wanted to go for Sandra, you would then be able to choose Sandra 
from the list. Now if we press uh, the refresh button or the uh, the change button, we can have a look here. Uh, we can see that Dooms uh, has uh, Halicer, uh, Avengers has Mavis, Glorians has Lee, uh, Etrials has um, Portia. That needs to change. That needs to change soon. I we need to get uh, a better Ethereal's hero. Um, hopefully next season, fingers crossed, uh, so that Glasnost uh, can stop complaining. <laughs> that we haven't had one in over a year. Um, and then Valiantas as well. So you'd be able to choose one of these factions, uh, and then you would be able to choose one of the heroes from this. So say, for example, uh, you didn't want um, Halisa from this list. You wanted Doris instead. You'd be able to choose Doris from the list. So that's um, effectively what they're saying with this update. Uh, yeah, so um, for instance, you choose the Glorian Synergy, you can then summon Na'Vi as a featured hero rather than um, the other Glorians uh, or the latest Glorians, which would be Lee. Um, so if you wanted Na'Vi over Lee, you could pick Na'Vi and you would be favored if you were summoning uh, through here as well. The probability of obtaining legendary heroes is increased from 1.34% to 2.5, including the guaranteed rate. That's really good. That's a massive improvement. Um, over a percent um, increase. Uh, it's going to all add up. Um, I Yeah, it's going to be nice. Now, uh, new guaranteed drop me uh, mechanism with a limit of 50 summons. So currently, I believe it's uh, 60 summons and you get a guaranteed hero. Uh, but now they've changed that and they've reduced it down to 50. So as long as you summon 50 times, you will get um, a, a five-star hero. Uh, and you'll have a higher chance of summoning uh, the one that you want as well, the one that you've selected. Very good. And this has all come from player feedback. Uh, a lot... Uh, I, I see a lot on the suggestion feedback just to say, um, you know, just to say, yes, uh, we would like to choose uh, our heroes. Um, and now rewards will be issued after accumulating 20, 40, 80, and 120 summons, allowing you to claim such items uh, as the summon ticket 2 and synergy summon tickets. Previous rewards based on summon counts have been replaced with the more cost effective options. Uh, including featured heroes and guaranteed mechanisms as well. So uh, they've just scrapped the entire synergy summon and they are replacing it. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll just have to see how well that goes. Um, yeah, again, it is. I think it's going to be good. I think it's really going to be good. Now, uh, feedback updates. Valkyrie Manor has been updated uh, with Ardina, um, and you can interact with her uh, and uh, potentially get a copy of her. Unlikely, uh, but you may be able to. Uh, you might just get two. Uh, <laughs> two oracle tokens instead but we'll see um and then uh, after the after the calamity that was the um oath recall change uh, i think that for higher spenders uh, for those who are actually spending on oath the oath has changed uh, for the better i think that the rates have gone from uh, i think it was 2.3 units uh, so say for example for me uh, it was uh, 2.3 pounds per scroll has gone down to 1.9 after those changes um, but what they've done is the oath recall event now includes purchasable immortal summon tickets for 1500 diamonds uh, you can purchase up to 10 tickets per event so if you were to say for example have uh, 15,000 diamonds um, you didn't want to summon on that particular banner you could then uh, or you can now buy those um, uh, those uh, immortal summon uh, scrolls um, up to 10 per event so if you want to go for the 100 it would take you 10 oath recalls which is about two seasons or so um, worth of saving but you can purchase those tickets now so a very good update um, I think uh, and it's much needed for those free to play players who do use that uh, function um, to save those tickets uh, it's very good, very good change um, back to how it was before as well. Now, other uh, updates, a new Valkyrie rescue event has been introduced, allowing you to earn various rewards after completing chapter missions and rescuing Valkyries. Uh, I believe that will be, let's just jump into game again, and it'll be this here. Uh, so currently this is the Valkyrie guardianship and you've got um, uh, certain levels. All of my quests have been complete for a very long time. Uh, I think this will be updated or there will be a new event um, very similar to this as well. So uh, I think they're uh, moving that along as well. Um, and 
I think it's going to be really good. I think, well, hopefully, depends on the rewards. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what the, the rewards are for it. Now, uh, a new event calendar feature is available where you can check upcoming events, including Oath Recall and Oath Rebate events, uh, or sorry, Oracle Rebate events. This is available in-game. I'm not going to click on it at the moment, but if we go to the top right, you can see the event schedule here. Uh, that will be uh, a permanent feature um, within uh, this. I don't know, within the interface. I don't know where it's going to go, uh, but it will be there now. And I think the reason that they're introducing this is because a lot of people were really annoyed that Cleo's image was on the last uh, oath. Now, they never officially announced Cleo's return, but it was very heavily implied as they changed uh, the picture on the oath from Eudora uh, to Cleo. So a lot of people assumed that it would be um, Cleo returning on that banner. It's not. I've got a, a video going through that um, and my, my feelings towards that. Uh, but they are now making progress with that and uh, it's going to be a lot clearer and a lot, I think it will be a lot easier for them to update as well with this event calendar feature. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's going to be a very good update. Uh, it might not mean a lot to you, uh, but it does mean that you can go ahead and save uh, for when you need to as well. So just something uh, to keep in mind. Now, based on the hero popularity rankings and usage statistics, we have updated the recommended lineup, which can be viewed in the hero interface. So let's just have a quick check on how it stands at the moment. Go into our heroes, um, say I go into Dorabella, and we can have a look at the guide here. So go into guide, and these are the recommended hero pairings. So what's gonna happen is these are gonna be updated. So as it stands at the moment with Dorabella, um, they say you need Dorabella, Katrina, Ellie, Karnak, and Mastema. Those are um, allegedly the Nothing best heroes be okay. or your best buddies for um, Dorabella. And these two, um, these two relics down here, this will get updated, I believe, uh, with this particular um, particular update. So yeah, based on the popularity rankings and usage statistics, um, I've not covered this, uh, but if you go to your heroes tab, you can click on the top ranking. And you can have a look at who is top. So Atrops is currently top, followed by Macaria, and then Elmer, then Astrid. Um, and then you can go into the rune ranking. So as you can see, we've got Atrops, Naui, and Dorabella, all with red runes. You can go ahead and change these up. So for Epic, you've got Atrops, Seraphina, and Astrid. And these are updated as well on a, um, I think, a weekly basis. Uh, yeah, so these are updated on a weekly basis. Uh, you can go uh, go through and see which units you should be prioritizing. So Atrops being the top, Macaria uh, being the second, and Elmer being the third, uh, Astrid fourth, so on and so forth. And you can do that for each different faction as well. Um, so based on these uh, and the relic rankings as well, so based on these and the lineup rankings, um, they're going to change the feature within the Heroes tab. So if we go on Nawi, let's have a look at her guide. So this comp will be updated, yeah. Um, Yasuke, what a joke. Uh, having him in with Na'Vi, it, yeah, it is what it is, but these have not been updated in a long time. And based on the hero rankings uh, and the team setups uh, and the, the relic rankings down here, this will be um, you go to source for what teams you should be running with that particular hero. Gonna be really useful. So we'll check that out when it does drop. Now, I think that is it. Um, yeah, please check official in-game content after the update for more precise information. Um, yeah, and it's just a note from them. Uh, thank you for your uh, continuous support and love for Omni Heroes. Continue to work hard to provide you with uh, an improved gaming experience. So this is the, the next update. Um, let me know what you think down below. Uh, if you can hit like and subscribe to see more of uh, this content. And when we go through it all in full, we'll be able to uh, check all this good stuff out. So... Yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, I do hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, and if you have any comments or you, any thoughts on this, just let me know. You have a great day.